with our propane fire running low on propane, we went ahead and used our little buddy heater inside the Overland Vehicle Systems awning to kind of heat stuff up as we got ready in the morning. The fog was low, in fact it was obscuring part of the mountains around us, and it was a gorgeous way to wake up. Before embarking on the Alpine Loop, we knew we needed both gas and some more propane for our fire pit, so we made our way down the trail from the free campsites we'd found and into Uray, Colorado. After spending way too much on gas and fuel, we stopped at a little public restroom in a park, and while everyone was using the restroom, I found out this wall is bolted for climbing. So uh, that's on my to-do list when we come back. After making it through all the construction zones, we entered the actual Alpine Loop. This has been on my to-do list for probably 10 years, and it was a dream to finally be able to tackle it. The trail up to Engineers Pass wasn't super difficult. I definitely recommend having four-wheel drive and a good amount of ground clearance, but it was a fun technical trail. Even with all the time we had spent so far in Colorado, the views of these mountains were just stunning. It never gets old. Who needs coffee when you have roads that are this narrow with uh, that much of a drop? That is guaranteed to wake you up in the morning. The color of this sandy rock really doesn't do a good job of showing how much depth there is in here. There's definitely a few spots where we had to spot just because the shelves were larger than they looked. I think this is the only time where we caught a differential, but you know, it happens occasionally on the trail. 
Perfect. Now try and come this way. Yeah. Keep coming. I'm watching. All right, cut it back. Cut it back this way. Not even close to touching. You're perfect. Come back my way. Get off the wall over there. There you go. Yeah, much better. Perfect. Just like that. The nice thing about these trails is you can make them as technical and complicated as you want or a lot of times you can pick your lines a little bit better and not have to take on the biggest of the rocks. Also it seems my autofocus was really struggling whenever it got into sunlight. Probably because I kept getting dust on my lens and uh, surprisingly it can't focus on the dust. Hold on. Straighten it out. Perfect. Just like that, love. Good job. Out. Keep it. Crank it. Okay. You're gonna have to do the same thing she did, I think, and, and back up once. But come on. Back up a little bit right yep. here. Yep. Do the same thing. Cut it hard. Back up. Yeah, you're fine. Cut it all the way, all the way. You got it, right there. That's it. You're up. Well done. Wanted to hang back and watch you. We had a husband and wife coming behind us in that Grand Cherokee, and Doing it great. did surprisingly well. We stopped to help spot them a couple times, Okay, and then eventually we noticed they were no longer behind us. I'm guessing after the tire got two feet awesome. off the ground a couple times, uh, the wife decided nice maybe a different trail. Nice! Just like that. That front tire came up a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it happens quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely thanks, done. Thanks for the guidance. Yeah. Though it was slow going, we found this to be one of our favorite trails from this entire trip. There's nothing like having rocks to your right that are just trying to shift you over to a steep drop off. You just have to take it slow and pick your lines. Not a big deal, but it's a little bit disconcerting when the truck is trying to roll the direction of the steep drop.
as we entered more of the alpine tundra, the terrain changed and yet again, we were just blown away by the beauty of Colorado. After making it to the top of Cinnamon Pass and crossing over to the 12,000 foot mark, we continued on our way around the Alpine Loop.
as the sun set, we were lucky to find another free campsite with this awesome view. We got in just before the sun went down, but also just as the moon was rising over the valley. It was an amazing first day on the Alpine Loop. The next day, we would finish it up and take on the rest of our adventures. So be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.